Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through a video proc converter AI review demo walkthrough. If you are looking to upscale your images or video using AI or stabilize them or convert them, video proc is going to do all that for you with basically the push of a button. So we're going to jump into that today. So before we do, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, as usual, I'm going to skip the fluff and we're just going to jump right in so you can see firsthand what to expect from Video Proc Converter AI. Also, stay to the end of the video. I do have a giveaway where you can use Video Proc Converter AI for 90 days for free, but stay to the end and I'll tell you what you need to do. So here I am on their website, videoproc.com. I've left a link in the description there if you want to check it out and see what it's all about. Uh, in this video, we're going to go into it though. Uh, see the dashboard, see how to do everything. So the first thing you would do is basically download it. This is a standalone app uh, that you can access on Windows or Mac. And this is what you can basically expect uh, as far as the interface goes. Very simple. You can select super resolution. So enhance the quality of videos and images by upscaling and restoring them with AI algorithms. Frame interpolation. So add new frames between two frames to smoothen everything out. We have stabilization for any shaky footage that you have. Uh, if you want to get rid of jitters, we can convert video into really any format you want. Compress, convert, 4K, 8K videos, everything. And digitize DVDs to MP4, AVI and uh, other formats as well. And also the downloader. You can download video streams, live videos, playlists, channels, music from YouTube, Facebook, etc. And also a screen recorder as well right inside the platform. So the first thing we're gonna look at is upscaling the video. So this is the interface, very easy to use, drag and drop interface. And you can see straight away side by side that it's already uh, enhanced the resolution. It looks a lot more sharp on the right hand side, I'm sure you can see. Uh, and you have your settings here on the right as well where you can adjust um, what you want the output to be essentially. So here's another example. We have another video here and straight away again, you can see immediately we've upped the resolution and it's a lot clearer on the right hand side. You can see the different resolutions there almost three times as much and still a lot clearer. Again, you can adjust the settings on the right here according to what you want your output to achieve. So we can also boost the frame rate as well. So going into what that looks like, we have two images here. Uh, the FPS 120 that side, 240 that side, and we can adjust the FPS that we want to be outputted as well. Now I'll show you the result of this video at the end, along with a couple others uh, that I experimented with. So also the stabilization feature. Um, if you've got video that's jittery, like action shots taken with your GoPro or whatnot, um, you can definitely get rid of that as well just by selecting on the side here best stability fastest balance minimum crop again at the end of this video I'll show you the videos uh, that I've played around with so you can see the results right now we're just going through the interface um, so you can see just how easy it is to use so once you render it which takes I don't know just about under a minute you can then run it exporting the file and you can see this is very quick a lot of people are under the misconception that upscaling video um, takes a really long time like a rendering a video would but uh, it really doesn't it's really quite quick so before we get to uh, looking at the output of some of those videos uh, let's look at the AI art as well so I actually went to midjourney.com and I selected uh, some images some AI images and I wanted and I wanted to see if we could uh, upscale the images that are, that were coming straight out of midjourney and as you can see uh, on the left is the video that I downloaded and on the right immediately looks a lot better, a lot sharper, a lot cleaner. Uh, and again, like the video, you can make your adjustments on the side here to scale and you can see that the AI is not bothered about what scale you wanna enhance it to. It just looks a lot sharper on the right. Here's another example here uh, with a more um, digital sort of computerized image. So we have this Mona Lisa and immediately you can see the difference. No matter what we scale it up to, the AI is able to handle it and maintain that better resolution uh, in the image. So let's look at this second image here, which is the more uh, sort of computer animation style. And I thought when the left one came out, it already looked good. I was really curious whether uh, video proc could make it look even better. And it obviously has just looking at the two images side by side. That's already good quality. So I was very shocked with this one to see that it can even make digital footage or like game style footage uh, look even better with a higher resolution as well. 
This was another one which I was very curious about just because of the detail of this image um, or both of these images. First, we have this ship here. So very high detail. This came out of Mid Journey as well. And even looking at the original image, I thought, no way, this is already as good as it can be. But you can see straight away, no matter what we scale it up to, uh, it's just a lot cleaner on the right hand side. The resolution almost four or five times uh, as much and still a lot sharper. We also have this one. So this is a more humanistic kind of image. Um, it looked really good in the original. And again, video proc just makes it look even better. The resolution on the left, 640 by 395, turned up to 2560 by 1580 and looking way, way sharper still. So here's another one, a, an upscale uh, reality image uh, to 8K. So this one, again, already looked really good, really clear in my opinion. Uh, 5456 by 3632 resolution, but we can enhance it even more. I mean, straight away, you can see the difference. A lot sharper, a lot cleaner. So this is a final one, again, uh, with the pandas. So we'll import this JPEG. Initially, just a 2X, so 1280 by 858 by 2560 by 1716. And again, you can see uh, clear as day, uh, the right one, double the resolution basically, and still maintaining a lot more crispness, a lot more sharpness. So the final part of the platform is the video converter that I wanna show you really quickly. So again, just a case of dragging and dropping uh, whatever you wanna convert. You can add effects, watermarks, cut and crop it, rotate it, so you can do some editing as well. Adjust the quality, the codec, frame rate, resolution, um, and also the uh, aspect ratio. If you wanna cut the video, if you want a certain selection, very, very easy to do. Uh, you can just adjust that very accurately. You can make minor adjustments, flip it, rotate it, um, add certain effects, subtitles, cut it down further. You can crop it as well. So if you don't want the entire image, you can very easily just crop it there. Really simple. And the watermark, which you can also add as well. Also the target format you can select. So whatever you're outputting to, there's just every option really that you're gonna need. Uh, you can extract the audio from the video, of course. Um, figure out where you wanna play it. Android, iPhone, uh, publish to Facebook, Vimeo, YouTube. And within the uh, output profile as well, you can also edit what you want, the settings, the compression video to GIF is there as well. So you've got all the settings you really need for conversion and outputting the file exactly how you want it. The compression as well, really, really good. Uh, so you can see your file size as well before you actually output the video. All right, so that's the interface with what you can actually expect using Video Prop Converter AI. But I've put together a couple of videos here so you can see what the output is like. What can you expect? What is it gonna produce? Um, and I've included you know different videos from up, upscaling stabilization image enhancement so you can see exactly what to expect and actually see the power of the ai algorithm uh, inside video proc converter ai so check it out All right, so I hope you found value in this video. Now, if you wanna try Video Prop Converter AI, I have three 90-day free usage discount codes. Just leave a comment, send me an email at chris at selfmaynewbie.com, and it's really first in, first serve, 
Once you send me the email, I'll send you one of those codes. You can input it into uh, Video Prop Converter AI and use it totally free, no strings attached for 90 days. Now, if you don't get in, if you're not one of those first three, you can still go to the website there and uh, try the free trial and use it as well. It just won't be for 90 days, but you'll still be able to uh, make good use of it and have a good go yourself. Okay, so that's all guys. If you have any questions about Video Proc Converter AI, drop them down in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, it really helps if you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.